When an expectant mother learns that her immune system may be harming her baby, just one unit of blood can be broken down and used in very different ways to help both mother and child. Since Aline Naranjo learned to use this walker, nothing in his South Miami home is safe. He's a ham. <laughs> yeah. I think they put some turbo in that blood <laughs> because he doesn't stop. <laughs> yeah. He gets some supersonic blood in there. Supersonic or not, Aline's blood is very different from his mother's. You see, Aline's blood is Rh positive, and his mother Tanya's is Rh negative. That means his blood contains a protein on the red blood cells. It doesn't impact general health, but it is a problem during pregnancy. That's because it leads to a condition known as Rh incompatibility, which causes the mother's immune system to attack the red blood cells of the fetus. This can lead to anemia, brain damage, and even death. If a woman suffers from RH incompatibility with one child, chances are pretty good that it's going to happen again, and the condition gets more and more aggressive with each pregnancy. So it's important to kind of take a really good history of what happened in the prior pregnancy, so you know that if it happened, let's say, at 34 weeks in this pregnancy, well, the next time it'll probably happen somewhere around 28, 30 weeks, so it'll be earlier and earlier each time. Your body kind of remembers that you've been exposed to that before, and so it reacts a lot faster. That's exactly what happened to Tanya. She had her first daughter, no problem, but her body became sensitized to the RH positive blood cells. When she became pregnant again, she miscarried. Like many women who are RH negative, Tanya received an immune globulin shot that contains plasma from blood donors to prevent her immune system from attacking the baby's red blood cells. But by her third pregnancy, her body had already formed antibodies to attack the fetal red blood cells, and the baby showed signs of anemia and had to be delivered premature. So when she became pregnant a fourth time, it was a mixed blessing. We knew we were in for, you know, a surprise. We, would, we didn't know. It was a matter of time where my body would recognize, you know, the different blood. It was frightening. Doctors monitored Tanya very closely with ultrasound and Doppler imaging. When Aline first started showing signs of anemia, doctors recommended an in utero blood transfusion. He would have died because um, what it is is that my, my body creates antibodies against his red blood cells. So it kills all his red blood cells to the point that makes him anemic and he, he would have died. There are two ways of doing this type of transfusion. The first option is to transfuse the blood directly into the baby's abdomen. The downside is that it takes a while for the blood to be absorbed into the baby's system. The second option is intravascular. This is where the doctor actually inserts a needle into the vein via the umbilical cord. The biggest complication is that the heart rate may drop at the moment of the procedure, whether it's because um, there's been uh, a puncture on the cord and um, it continues to leak blood and so there's blood volume that's lost in a baby that's already probably affected or if not just sometimes vasospasm of the vessels in the cord will cause the heart rate to drop and that usually resolves but that risk is somewhere about one percent. A line made it through and needed a total of three fetal blood transfusions before being born. Every time I see him and I'm just I'm very grateful that at least I had we had that opportunity to um to um to get a transfusion yeah and um it's great that you know that there's people out there that that donate blood and and um it serves as a good cause definitely doctors closely monitored Aline's blood after birth it took four months and six more blood transfusions before his hemoglobin and hemocrit numbers were in the normal range. Let's see, you just want to paint. Today, Align is a happy, healthy baby. He shouldn't need any more blood transfusions and should develop into an active young man. I'm Nancy Gay reporting.